we are live. GM Farcaster. It is Monday, December 11th, and you are here with Adrian and Naunish Prof to talk about for 21 minutes of Farcaster news to start your day. So talking about all the things Farcaster. GM Adrian, how are you today? What's going on? How was G your weekend? GM, um, I'm doing great. Can I just say I love your outfit? Well, thank you. So I'm like all kinds of basil today. So I've got my little pudgy penguins and ZK Sync shirt from Art Basil's from their party. And then I got to lean in, see if I can get close enough so that you can see. I got the base hat. It's awesome. I it's love great. my base hat from Base House in Art in uh, Miami. So it was. It was well, awesome. you look great today. Well, thank and you. And you do as well. I'm wearing, <laughs> yeah, and I'm wearing, I was like, we actually have matching outfits, but I'm wearing complete, I'm wearing off brand dupe. D D dupa i have like the this the same outfit of you as you but i have no base hat no base hat no I'm, art sorry. Basil. I'm sorry um, it was a blast and we'll talk about that uh we gotta we gotta dive into that as well as part of this today but it was it was a lot of fun um so yeah let me start there so i did not um i don't think i posted this last week so uh i met brian and we did talk about it but i don't know if i posted the picture so there's a picture of me and brian at NFT Now Gateway event. So Brian, the founder of the co-founder of Unlonely. So shout out. He was uh, a lot of fun. And then um, Base House, which was, okay, there you go, um, at a large studio, Ampersand Studio. They took over the whole space. It had a cafe. It had a space for talks. It had um, a... Uh, like area a little merch area and it had a scavenger hunt it also had a, like a gallery so it had this gallery space with these large screens so you had these nfts some of them were free to claim some of them were free mints some of them were paid mints all different artists um really cool everything connecting with coinbase wallet of course um so and i kept going oh, oh yeah it's using that wallet that i have no money in i'm like damn it uh i gotta move some over i'm up <laughs> I'm a MetaMask loyalist. I'm sorry. It's been, you know, I've been here a minute. It's been a while. So I'm very, very loyal. Anyway, um, so they had a scavenger hunt that was really fun and you would claim and then that would lead to merch. So this is all happening on chain. So you're scanning the QR codes. It's, um, you know, tapping right into your uh, Coinbase wallet. It's dropping an NFT in there. And then when you go to purchase, so you'd go to the merch shop and it would say, yes, you, you're a level one, you're a level two, you, you can pick this, this, this. So I ended up with a hat and a tote for free um, and like a very discounted other hat that I'll wear a different day. You know, I don't want to spoil the surprise. I'll wear it on a different day. Um, and so it was really, it was really fun and interesting, but it's also an experiment. They also had the cafe where you could pay with crypto. So in your Coinbase wallet, and that was another, like you're tapping, you're getting an NFT, and then that NFT is giving it to you for free. You sign and you go. Um, so I had posted that actually, uh, because then it allowed you to, after you made that purchase, it said, do you want to tweet this or cast this? And you could click on either one of those buttons. So I cast it. I just bought some coffee on chain from Base Cafe. Check it out at basecafe.slice.so. No gas and one click buy with Coinbase wallet on Slice. So um, that was kind of cool. It had this little Farcaster integration. And I understand that we had a lot of new users too. So I think some of that was connected um, to what they were doing and along with Coinbase wallet. So it was an interesting experience. Some of it wasn't frictionless. We had some issues uh, a couple times, but it's really cool to see Base uh, experimenting and really focusing on that. Let's bring, a, you know, the next billion users on chain. And this is how we do it is through consumer products and consumer experiences. So thoughts on any of that? I know I just like went, Bleh, but <laughs> and all that to explain so, my new hat. Um, that sounds awesome. Super. It sounds like a great, just like great event, great experience. Um, let's see. I'll just fire off my quick thoughts. I don't have a Coinbase wallet um, myself. Sorry, I kind of want to get one now. Um, I, I think you need one. You're definitely going to need one. You've got I someone in the chat this. making. Yeah, you've got someone in the fat. Someone in the chat throwing shade on MetaMask. Oh boy. 
Okay. Um, I understand I, that, that it's, it's well, but, it's, uh, it's well taken. <laughs> that criticism is, is accurate. Um, and you're right. I, so yeah, so I have a rainbow wallet. It's the first one I got and I stuck oh, with it. Love rainbow. I have a, I played with MetaMask once, but I do like my rainbow and, um, forgot but to I log think, in. Uh, I forgot to log into our stream. Sorry about that chatters. I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good to have, um, all right. The chat loves rainbow. It's decided, love, but it's rainbow. good to have options. It is. I love mm. Rainbow too. I think Rainbow is a great option, um, especially mobile. I think MetaMask has been horrible for mobile forever. Um, so I get that completely. It's again, I'm a creature of habit. I am not saying it is the best option by any stretch, but also MetaMask don't come at me either. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm not trying to make anybody mad today. We are not sponsored by any wallet at the moment. Should you want to be our wallet sponsor, <laughs> reach out. <laughs> Maybe we'll we'll switch things up. Um, all right. uh, I have to say though, just overall, the base house experience, like that was the vibe um I enjoyed probably the most. Uh, I just thought it was like the, you know, it was the builder vibe. It was the um, you know, really focusing on the tech and what we can do to move this all forward. Um, it was just a different vibe than more culture and you know party focused so it really i just really enjoyed it and uh, i hope that they do more of that at all these different conferences i think it was a really valuable experience to have available and i you know i really enjoyed it so really does well our boss will have a big yeah is there a big uh, party culture there huge i mean it's is miami. that kind of primary it's miami yeah so mm -hmm. the big ones that people were you know at were um, rug radios, uh, our house was a big one. I didn't even go. I was like, I'm good. Um, it was all, it was, so there, the other thing with Miami is traffic. So if you're in the Wynwood art district, it's really not the easiest to get over to the beach side and vice versa. So I kind of made choices that were in the Wynwood area and they worked better for me. So, um, but I, I think, you know, there's, there's, you know, teachers on the space is huge. We have a lot of different aspects to it and a lot of different um, people, um, you know, come in for different reasons. So for me, it's really about the tech and um, as well as the art and what we can do to, you know, create a better world, honestly. So that's really what I'm, you know, looking, looking for. Um, oh, you know, it's really funny. I've been looking for my channel. It was right at the top because we're live. Because I can't, I can't find talk, our talk channel. Talk to Brian. Talk to Brian about that. I can't find our channel because we're live and it's at the very top. I wasn't looking there. It's been a long weekend. Um, so the other thing is like there's a lot of you know we've discussed this before, so this will be no surprise to regular viewers. But we're on the little older side of this particular space. So, you know, <laughs> we're a little Gen x -y. So a lot of the, you know, events and things like that can get very party. You know, it's there's, it's really more about, you know, that 20 to 30 something vibe and, and which is fine and great and, have you know, have at it. But I may not, you know, I may just peace out a 20, little early. <laughs> yeah, Adrian, Adrian in her 20s loved South Beach. I can exactly. tell you I spent a lot of time, a lot of time in Miami. Exactly. So it's, it's you, Adrian you get today, it, you okay. get it. Yeah. yeah, I get it. You get it. Like if it, if, if you're in your twenties, it's your, you you are gonna stay out until three a.m. Um, if you're not, you're probably not. You know, you're gonna you're gonna cruise on home. Um, so it's it's been uh, it was a lot of fun anyway. But I really hope my point is that I really would love to see um, Base House at all these different conferences, like at East Denver and um, all the ones that are coming up that are like the bigger. Uh, Ones because I really feel like the layer twos are the direction and that's how we get, you know, more easier consumer, you know, make the experience easier for consumers and really push forward in some of the things that we're trying to do. So I think. Yeah, that's absolutely. When you talk about when you were talking about your experience of kind of purchasing IRL goods with a crypto wallet and you mentioned there's a little bit of friction, mm -hmm. um, you know, as early adopters, we're used to friction. So, right. so we know that we know it's going to get better. You kind of have to go through the first experiences of figuring it out. But with all the L2s, I mean, just think about how easy things have been mm -hmm. um, 
really in the last like few two months or so since and, August and, and integrated into it. Yeah. Is it? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Um, and you just get used to it. You yeah, forget totally. it was ever harder. So that's the struggle we're having right now, which will, will be, you know, fixed within the next month with the DAOs, the DAOs that are still on mainnet right now, gas is going crazy. So yeah. if you just want to put a vote in, you, you're not dropping a hundred bucks. It's like, I don't care. Even if it's your own prop, you're probably not going to do that. So it's like, you know, this is why we need, you know, these better options so that we can, you know, really start to build these communities on chain and do these activities on chain. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, to me, it's really exciting. And that's really the, the direction and the future. Um, so a lot of, a lot of fun. Um, this is really funny. I think I'm not connected or something because now I can't even see. I can't see the ones who are in the VIP because I'm not in the VIP because I must not be connected or something. It's just hilarious. So the chat is you'll have to you'll have to be the chat person today because I don't know what's going on. Um, well, I also I don't have a VIP badge myself. Um, oh, that's so. why I'm seeing you blurred out. Oh, that's hilarious. I must be in the VIP chat. This no, is you hilarious. shouldn't be seeing me oh. blurred out. It's really weird. This is so funny. I think the blurred out ones are people <laughs> posting in the VIP. That's Maybe you have I to thought. click VIP. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. I must not be connected, but I thought I had the VIP. This is hilarious when the hosts of the show can't get into their VIP chat. Because <laughs> we, we don't know how. Um, Brian, <laughs> you need to talk. All right, moving on. We've got some things that have been happening on Barcaster. So we gotta we gotta get to that. Pleased to announce that we're working with Coinbase Wallet to onboard people to Farcaster. The program will run for the next few weeks. And that I really feel like was directly connected with Base House in terms of timing. It feels like it, and the other initiatives that they were introducing there and in, in the way they were they were kind of doing the MVP of um IRL payments. So I feel like that was all connected when I saw the, you know, you could post your purchase directly to Farcaster, which was pretty cool. Um, you know, I was the other thing I was thinking about the other day was even within our chats, um, I was I forget something was I was looking at a different platform in the chats. And you can have people who impersonate others and things like that all the time. We see that all the time. But it's like it's really hard to do that on on Lonely. I was thinking about that. Because of the wallet connection, you can trace it back. So it gives you a little bit more authentic um, or a little bit more security that the person who's chatting is really that person when it's connected to the wallet, or at least that wallet is talking. So I don't know, just something that I thought about the other day. I'm like, oh, that's an interesting security feature that, you know, kind of happens, you know, as a, as a result of using blockchain. So Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And certainly, like, new users coming to Farcaster can kind of spoof someone else mm -hmm. and, and we saw that uh, people taking brand names and kind of yeah. celeb names and whatnot um but over time it's right. it's hard to do it for a long time you know it's like everything you do if it's tracked to your wallet and on chain you can exactly you develop you start to your build reputation. The reputation yeah you start to develop that online reputation for sure um and I did love the, uh, because of new people who've joined Farcaster, um, we have a few cultural quirks here, but the most important is wow, wow, <laughs> added to a cast when something is particularly exciting and watch what happens. I just, I, you know, I do, I, I hope that we can be a helpful, helpful resource here for new people looking to figure out what the heck is wow, wow. But the other funny thing, and I meant to pull the link. Um, I think it was Zach Terrell, somebody, one of the Zachs posted a, a tweet that mentioned wow, wow. And I'm like, are you trying to make wow, wow happen over here on Twitter? <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? Wow. Wow is everywhere. One thing I discovered this weekend. Um, so, you know, if you type wow, wow, you get the wow, wow reaction. So instead mm -hmm. of the like, the like button turns to a wow, wow, um, PSA it's case sensitive. So if you capitalize your W you'll just get a heart button for your like. So if you want the wow, wow, it's got to be all lowercase. That's interesting. I had not noticed that before. Okay, great tip. Your wow, wow. Try it out and try it out and to be in lowercase. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Um, okay. Now, Maybe. do you think wow, wow is, is that the number one, like, is that the number one thing new users should know? It's no, a... no, definitely not. <laughs> uh, I believe that was uh, definitely a little bit tongue in cheek. 
Um, I think, you know, if, if I was going through and doing like a new users, like, you know, Farcaster 101, um, the first thing I would be talking about is channels, obviously, like look at your, you know, definitely follow channels that are of interest to you. It will help your feed, um, try to cast in channels. It will help your reach, things like that. Uh, and, and also it helps you find your people, right? It helps you find the people that you're going to connect more with because you're going to have things in common. Um, and it's, you know, like we talked about the other day, I have you know, someone who's a good friend from the nouns ecosystem who didn't know I was on Farcaster because he doesn't lead the nouns channel. So right. <laughs> find your, you know, but find your people, which actually, uh, we just saw a cast earlier that, uh, I saw a cast earlier that nouns is the second was for a minute, a second busiest channel memes and nouns go back and forth. They go back and forth. Okay. We tend to be a little more, you'll see a little more activity probably in nouns uh, through consistently where memes might fall off on a weekend or something. <laughs> so. Well, I was, I was doing a little research on what channels new users are joining. So when you Ooh. join the flow is, you know, um, yeah. you, 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 you know, choose your name, put your profile in and this is choose your interests. And there's probably some bubbles and you can click. I haven't done it because I've been I around a while. It. I know but... I've been here too long. Choose your interests and then Warpcast will suggest which channels, you know, we'll, we'll kind of cool. give you channels to follow. So oh, cool. um, Ethereum, the Ethereum channel had a ton of new followers this weekend. Probably not a surprise. Yep. As did, but second to food. Everybody loves food. So the food channel had more uh, new users yeah. than Ethereum hmm. and memes had less. So memes still had a lot, but less than Ethereum, less than food. Interesting. And That's really interesting. Hmm. Um, so and my channel and the channel I lead, Farcast Her, only had two new followers this weekend. So we not have two the new thousands. Women. <laughs> but I will say it's not because people aren't interested. It's because um, I don't know what it honestly, it Farcast Her doesn't show up as an interest. Because what are we yeah. going to yeah. say? Are you, do you like do you women? like women? We don't know. We don't know who's going to. We don't, are you want, we don't know who's going to. like women? I don't know if we want. What do you want? Like, they'll find <laughs> haven't us figured out. They'll we haven't figured out. Eventually. So I said that. I think for our our women women in Farcaster channel, we're happy with slow, sustainable growth. Absolutely, yeah, we're for fine. Now. We don't need to be. We don't need to rush in. We're we're good. Um, that's really funny. <laughs> like, what what would your interest actually be? Um, oh, okay, that was interesting. My camera just disappeared. Hopefully, it's coming nope. back. Hello. All righty. Can I you still you. hear, hear me? You. You hear me and you I see, see me? You. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. there I am. You're back. Now I'm back. Okay, good. A um, couple things, a couple more big things. We had another mint, and this was from, uh, this was Very Internet Person, Warp by Riot Ghouls, and this is your background today. Um, really cool. I love it. I, I minted it with my warps, um, and it's kind of a really fun animated, I feel like it really sh kind of gives you a meme-ish vibe um and you're sporting it as your background which i love um that's my then, background yeah it's so cute and it does have oh wow and wow and there is a wow. yeah so it's a very very internet person theme there is a very internet person channel also right goals mm -hmm. aka l is the lead or at least person who got that channel off the ground so oh very cool i didn't know that part so thank you for that uh that little tidbit um, coming up later today, 11 a.m. Pacific time is the next Farcaster AMA series with Tolly, or yeah, I think it's Tolly, uh, T O L Y, uh, a brand, uh, I think a brand new user who just jumped on, but is the co founder of Solana. So this is going to be in the Solana channel. Um, so in a, an opportunity to figure out why Solana is pumping at the moment. So there you go. Here you go. Are you active on like, Solana? What is going on with Solana? I don't know anything. Now you. Now here's your opportunity to learn all the things. I'm not on Solana. I am. I shouldn't say that. I have some NFTs on Solana. I have a little bit of soul, but not much. Um, and it was not. I just. You can only do so many things is where I kind of gotten to. Uh, I tend to be an ETH maxi. It just is what it is. Uh, I think if you're in the nouns ecosystem, this is a common theme. Um, but even trying to get people to move to a L2, which is still on Ethereum, sometimes it's is is hard. <laughs> yeah. Change is, yeah, change is hard. Change is hard. Yeah, change is hard. Um, what were you going to say? 
Oh, no, change is hard. I was going to say, asking anyone who's in the chat listening, if anyone, I'm curious who's who's active in Solana ecosystem. That would be really, yeah, good to know. Um, um, I played around with... Go ahead. Say I was it. saying, I, I'm not, but I played around with Helium um, oh, a bit, which Helium is the Internet of Things. Um, uh, they, they're, they're trying to do an Internet of Things doing lo-fi, low-rand, low, low oh. low-fi, like a... Um, wide network of oh, cool. okay. for kind of the creating a global network for um I'm afraid is it low low what's the low rand? I don't know. You've lost like me low, on this low one. Low-fi connectivity. But imagine like all the little devices that don't need high speed internet but need co internet connectivity, whether you're kind of right. in rural areas or um signs on the highway or like things on a farm that everything that needs connectivity. So they created these miners um, that will create a global network. You can mine, you earn helium tokens, HNT, and it creates this global network. You've got proof of coverage. You know, you kind of create this network and, anything and then this. anyone, wow, yeah. And then people, um, it's, they've struggled to, I mean, the, the vision's incredible. It's been yeah, struggling. Really, and then they're that also really doing 5G. I have to, I have to dig in a little bit more. And that's then they really pivoted to 5G. So imagine now 5G mobile network that is not mm. owned by Verizon or AT&T or anyone, you know, and wow. it's owned by, it's decentralized. Especially so it interesting. Works. Anyway, they moved to Solana. They they moved, they, they, moved they were doing Solana. their own chain okay. and they're moving. So that's really interesting. I think, you know, Solana's having a moment. So I think um, this is going to be a great timing for this AMA for sure. So Looking forward to um, forward to that later today. Um, really quick, uh, direct cast are live again because um, they were they were gone for a minute, and then <laughs> everybody was like, "Where are my direct casts?" Um, well, it was really weird because I could see notifications, but then I'd go to look at it, and it was like nothing, nothing, and then it wasn't, and I hadn't seen the note that direct casts were down. So I was one of those people going, "What's happening?" <laughs> so. This cracked me up all weekend because I saw Varun's uh, cast telling people direct cast would be down. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, it doesn't go out to everyone. It's not a push notification. People don't see it. So yeah. there were just like hundreds of casts complaining that <laughs> direct cast were down. Were down. <laughs> they would be like, um, we know. We told you. <laughs> Now, DeWoofy hat wins for best cast where he said he just casted about DCs being broken. He said, so I can feel like I'm part of the email thread where someone accidentally CCs the whole company and everyone keeps replying, please remove me from this thread. <laughs> Amazing. That's a great analogy. <laughs> and on that, we're going to leave it because we are at the end of our time. We're a little bit over, but that is a perfect note to end on. Dewoofy, thank you for the laugh this morning. Um, thank you to the chatters who I can't see anybody, but I'm sure you have amazing things going on in there that hopefully I'll be able to read later. Uh, and we will be back on Wednesday, 8.30 a.m. Eastern for GM Farcaster. We will see you then and be sure to check out the AMA at 11 a.m. Pacific time, which is 2 p.m. Eastern. So, yes, did I get that right? I think I got that right. We'll see you then. I don't know. Pull up the link. I don't have the link in front of me. It's somewhere. Check. Um, but yeah, thank you for the, thanks to all the live chatters. There was a lot of chat. You'll see about wallets. Oh, cool. Um, yes. I'm sure I'm getting roasted. And, I'm getting roasted for yeah. the MetaMask. Yes, yeah. I get it. I get it. Uh, we will see you all on Wednesday and GM 